It's what's coming up new on NBC4 at 6. Um, I would say the community was pretty divided. Um, that there were people for each side. I'm Candace Lee. New at 6, I visit Strongsville, Ohio, where a lengthy teacher strike still divides a community. Tonight, they have a warning for the Reynoldsburg community. Veterans who serve overseas face an uncertain future very often when they come home. Getting readjusted to life in the U.S. is difficult for many veterans. Often one of the hardest things to do is find a job. And tonight, we're hosting a call for dedicated to helping our veterans find work. Mindy Dreher is in the call for center tonight with a personal story that highlights the impact finding jobs for veterans can have. Mindy? Colleen and Cabot, I recently spent some time at this resource center and I wanted to get a better idea of exactly who it serves and how it all works. And for those of you who are wondering the exact same thing, this story that you're about to see will answer all those questions. Take a look. This Ohio AMVETS building on State Route 161 offers a lot of services for those once in the military. And this is one of the most important offices in the building. We provide personalized career services for veterans who have served honorably. Basically, the Military Resource Center puts men and women back to work. Coming off of active duty and trying to transition into a civilian career can be a little bit testy at times. So we help translate their skills. We help translate their military MOS to a civilian job. This computer room is available so vets can find job openings and update their resume. They'll also practice communication skills to enhance the interview process, and it's all done on a very personal level. Every single veteran that comes in here is going to be assigned a coach, and that coach is responsible for following that vet from the time they walk into this door until the time they obtain a position. Michael Kincaid is one of those vets. He once served in the Army and came here to find work, and now? I do um, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, refrigeration, and boiler a technician for a company um, that owns properties throughout the Columbus area. And he's so thankful. It truly did help me because of the personal touch they give. I'm very appreciative that they're here, very. This center is in Columbus, but there are other offices in Chillicothe, Finley, Hamilton, Springfield, and Dayton. Together, they help 500 veterans a year. With all the government cuts and reduction in forces, there is a need to be able to walk the veterans to op through opportunities. There's also a food bank, so veterans won't go hungry. All they have to do is come in with their DD-214 and um, let us know what their challenges are, and we would provide food for them for at least a three-day period. From food to work to simple companionship, this center has one main goal. Seeing our veterans smile at the end of the day. And that's basically really what it's all about. So, my friends, if you have honorably served our country in the military and you think the center can help you out, then by all means, just go and check it out. And if you have any other questions, this panel of people that you see all the way around, they are here to talk to you. And they will be answering all your questions from now until 6.30 this evening. Again, the phone number, it's so easy to remember. It's just 821 44 Four, four. You guys got to get busy, don't you? Yeah. They want to answer. They want to answer these phones. <laughs> and Mindy, again, this is right on 161. This facility, right there, Absolutely. Dublin Granville. Absolutely. Yep, cabin. We just heard the phone ring. Okay. Okay, and we, we they will be here again until 6:30. Thanks a lot, Mindy. And uh, it's been.